All right, guys, even here, and this is Sean Rodin three days ago. This is June 15th, and here you can see his physique, and uh, let's just discuss about it. Do I think this looks impressive? Absolutely not. But is he better than he looked at Pittsburgh Pro? Much better, and much better than his last cast posing as well. He got a bit harder, he got a bit bigger, and if everything goes well, if he just keeps improving until the showtime, he will probably be ready. He will probably be looking great. And you can compare this to Brandon Curry's physique, as it is right now, and you can just you know, notice that Brandon looks much better. But, you know, Sean is known for not being an impressive bodybuilder in the offseason. He really shines when he gets completely dry and shredded. And he's training hard. He took a rest pretty much the whole year. He didn't push anything, so now he can give it all of his and uh, just come at his 100% as far as conditioning. And right now he's not looking super impressive for sure, but it's three months out. So he has three whole months to train, to get fuller and bigger. And if it is true that he actually stopped using gear in the off season, and if he actually starts using it now, and he starts training hard and, you know, dieting properly and everything, the chances of him actually growing some muscle are pretty high. Because muscle memory is a big thing, and especially with these pro bodybuilders, they are known for putting muscle on easily. And it's obvious that he is getting bigger, he is getting fuller, he is gaining, regaining the muscle that he had uh, right now in his prep. And I'm sure you guys know what kind of transformations was Kevin Leveroni able to make in only 4 months. He wasn't bodybuilding at all for pretty much a whole year, and 4 months before the Mr. Olympia he would get into it and get much bigger and get conditioned and everything was on point and placed like second at the Mr. Olympia. So we'll see if that is the case with Sean. And the thing is, back in the day when there was Kevin, he had the Dorian Yates to compete against. And Dorian is one of the greatest Mr. Olympias ever. He was pushing it, you know, to a max. But right now, Sean doesn't have some crazy competition. Unless Phil Heath comes back, it's gonna be relatively easy for him. The only real competition most likely will be Brandon Curry. And uh, that's a big question mark. We don't know how they compare now one next to another uh, because of Sean's legs. Sean has much more superior legs. But then you also have William Bonek who can actually even take it if he, uh, if some of these guys actually comes a little bit off. And we have Big Ramy who if decides to compete and if brings conditioning can also win the throne and so on and so forth, but you know, it, nobody is really like established guy. It's not 2016 or 17 or 15 where Phil Heath was reigning champ and in order to beat him you would have to give 100%, you know, to do more work than him. Right now there isn't, you know, too much of a competition for Sean, so it's gonna be relatively easy, but it's all about getting in that shape and he has three months and he is looking better every time we see him since he started actually training and preparing for this Mr. Olympia. And based on this video footage right here, you can say that he looks much harder than he looked two and a half weeks ago, right? When he did that gas posing. So he's improving. It's gonna be exciting to see him actually coming peeled and bringing that shape that's required for him to win. So looking forward to seeing that. Anyways, this is it for this video, guys. Tell me what you think about Sean. Tell me what you think. Does he really have the chances to get ready and to win this thing? We'll see what happens. Anyways, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.